Project Veritas says it's looking for whistleblowers. The group's founder told us at a Turning Point USA conference why he thinks it's important to come forward and why it's just as tough to do that. NTD's Juliet Song reports. People think there's going to be targeting. James O'Keefe, founder of the undercover journalism nonprofit Project Veritas, says some people fear being targeted for their political leanings. And I think that's a fear that pervades the American body politic. Like if the other guy wins, we're going to the gulag. He says it's important to fight that fear. Because what eventually happens in, in societies, and we saw this in the Soviet Union, is that you end up with a, basically a country of feckless cowards because everyone is afraid to do anything for fear of like losing their job or being squealed on by their neighbors. This is not the sort of world that we want to live in. O'Keefe says Project Veritas is looking for brave souls who are willing to speak up even if it means certain sacrifices, like one postal worker from Pennsylvania. Richard Hopkins, postal worker in Pennsylvania, overheard his supervisor telling him to backdate the ballots before Election Day that were received after Election Day. He spoke to us on the record, uh, and uh, the, the uh, Office of the Inspector General sent federal agents to him with one mission, to get him to change his tune. And they locked him in a room for four hours, wouldn't let him leave, wouldn't let him speak to an attorney, made him sign something like a Soviet Union-style recanting. He did not even know what he was signing. They did not give him what he signed. And those two agents leaked what he signed to the Washington Post. He says luckily, Hopkins recorded the entire interaction on his phone and published it. And you hear these federal agents saying, we're trying to scare you, we're trying to twist you. Post office suspended him, and uh, this is kind of was a story that happened. I've never seen anything like this. It was like the people in our federal government, tasked with investigating fraud, were sent to cover up the fraud and target the whistleblower. O'Keefe says people have flooded Project Veritas with messages through various channels, wanting to help expose potential illegal activities. And his organization has set up a call center to field the requests and get more citizens better equipped to blow the whistle. Juliet Song, NTD News.